Ah, you've come. I've been waiting for you, Shining One. The honor is mine. Nothing gives me more pleasure than assisting you. The time to make your choice has come. You have unified the will of the species, yes? This decision will determine the fate of your world. Answer my next question carefully. Now then, Shining One. Tell me your will. If you do this, your memories will likely be erased, and the world may fall into the same pattern. You are aware of these risks as I have told them to you. Y yeah We just have to hang on to our memories, right? We won't let this happen again. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget. We hold so many precious memories of the time we spent together. <laughs> I'm sure we'll remember. We've been through some pretty intense stuff. It'll be fine. We've overcome so many ordeals. This is just one more. Yeah! To hell with starting over again! I'm gonna keep getting stronger! Yeah! We've worked so hard these past eight days so we'd be ready for this moment! And you comprehend the worst case scenario? Of your conflicting data leading to non-existence? We'll be fine! We've got all that potential, right? There's no way we'll be erased! Mm-hmm. I won't disappear. I'm stronger than my past self. It's illogical, chaotic, and completely unscientific. But I can live with that. There's no need to worry. Our will is strong. I'm sure this will work. <laughs> That's right. We have nothing to fear. We'll survive this trial, too. Hurry up. Neither him nor I have need of your tedious babbling. I see. Then I will say no more. It is time to test your true strength. Now, let's begin. Are you ready? <laughs> That's a rather harsh welcome. Does that make you an enemy, after all? You misunderstand. I have no intention of getting in your way. But your path is painful and arduous. That is why I wish for you to show me you have the power and resolve to come through. Then let's begin. Defeat all that stands before you and return silence to this place. Looks like we have to fight! What does he mean by testing us? I guess we have to concentrate on fighting first. We have to defeat those demons! He's testing us with demons like these? What a joke. Prepare for battle!
Amazing! The powers you have fostered over these last eight days are real. We've defeated the demons. Please, tell us about Polaris. Not yet, humans. All the Septentrions must be defeated before the path can open. The next will be the last, but the last will require all of your strength. The last one! Where is it? You will use what you call the Terminal to go where Polaris awaits. The one you currently have is too weak and cannot harness the required power. First you must find a way to strengthen the Terminal. Are you saying that you know how to strengthen our terminals? <laughs> I have no hints to give. You're almost there. Good luck. Uh, he's gone. I still don't understand who he is. I know, right? What's with that guy? Let's focus on the big picture, though. There's going to be another Septentrion. What do you mean, seems like it? It felt like we were done for fighting Bennett Nash yesterday. What if it's stronger than that? Do we even have a chance? Is fighting it our only choice? For now, maybe we should focus on strengthening the terminal. Hmm. He said we can't meet Polaris if we don't make the terminal strong. Yeah, I guess. How are we going to do that, though? We made it this far and we still got a crap load of stuff to think about. This is a difficult problem. His words seem to imply it must be something that we can do right now. Hmm. Well, I got nothing. I guess we should try asking our go-to guy about this. Oh, hey there. Holy crap! When did you get here? Don't surprise me like that. Panic much, Daichi? <laughs> However, you have perfect timing. Any thoughts? Strengthening the terminal, that's what. It's an out-of-place artifact, right? That's what I heard, anyways. We couldn't come up with anything, so we went to ask Fumi about it. She's at headquarters going through documents. I hope she finds something. I'm back. Ugh, I'm so tired. Oh, you're here too. Thank you, Fumi. So how'd it go? Did you find a way to strengthen it? Nothing really. It's advanced technology, so it's tough to research on short notice. Even Fumi's got nothing. How are we supposed to strengthen the thing? A physical enhancement? Well, I did consider it. If we burned through theories, had cutting-edge technology, and a hundred brilliant minds, it would still take about ten years to develop. Who knows if it would even work? And if we fail, we might fall into an unknown dimension with no possible way to return. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> what? It's like saying it's impossible. How is any part of that funny? Isn't there anything that can be done, Fumi? Maybe another way? Don't be ridiculous. There's no simple way to just improve advanced tech like that. You're right. If it's physically impossible, what other choice do we have? Well, I guess if we had some sort of supernatural power or something? Our demons are supernatural, but they're probably not supernatural enough. Any other ideas? You mean that thing Yamato used at the Metropolitan Building? Hmm, you know, you're pretty sharp. That might work. The Dragon Stream works by defining pure energy as physical power. So, if we define that energy as a specific terminal, we might strengthen it that way. Is that true, Fumi? We can use the Dragon Stream to get to Polaris? 
Uh, wait, 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 wait. We used up the Dragon Stream when we fought Mizar. S some left? Oh! He's right. I think there's still a piece left. Oh, yeah. When it swallowed Mizar, that last piece fell, right? Sounds like a plan to me. I'll go confirm it with Yamato. Let's hurry. Yamato, and I think this dragon stream thing will totally work. Ah, you've arrived. Kujo has explained your plan. I'm impressed you thought of using the dragon stream to strengthen the terminal. You are a clever man. Alrighty, let's head out. The last piece of the dragon should be up ahead. Last I saw from the rooftop, it was lying on the ground. Uh, are you talking about that thing over by the entrance? Whoa. That's it, all right. D do you think it's okay to go near it? You think so? You say that, but who really knows what condition it's in? It's okay, Daichi. The dragon's sleeping because he had a good meal. It's just a head! I don't even think it has a stomach. We don't have time for your prattling. Hurry it along. Hey, found it! It's bigger than I remember! It turned to stone? What's happened to it? Damn, I guess we underestimated it. We can't move it like this. No, no it won't! There's no way we can move something this huge without a freaking crane or something. Hmm. It seems to have solidified temporarily as a reaction to releasing the Dragon Stream's energy. Wait there. It'll take some effort to awaken it gently. Demons! What ill timing. They're after the Dragon Stream's power. This is... Holy! It's still alive! It's moving! <gasps> this isn't good. Due to its sudden awakening, it's trying to restore its powers. We'll have to strike it down, and then calm its mind. Come on!
It's calmed down. To think it still had that much power. What a pain. I didn't expect that to happen. Dude, you're some kind of beast. I really hope this lets up soon. Okay, we beat it. So, do we just wish for it to shrink or something? What in the name of... What? It shrunk! Whoa! It really shrunk! This is unsurprising. The Dragon Stream is pure energy. It takes the form given to it. He wanted it to go all shrinkity shrink, and it did. I see. That's a convenient power. <laughs> no wonder the Holtzween family's so strong. You're right. Well, the terminal switchboards in Osaka... Is this thing gonna be okay? It's super tiny now. It didn't lose its powers, right? A dragon? Right in the palm of your hand! <laughs> it's kind of cute! Hey, come on, this isn't the time for stuff like that. We don't have time to waste. You can talk at the Osaka Terminal. We're here! Is this really the place? R right. I can't think of anywhere else. Ugh, I've got butterflies in my stomach. This is the right place. When you say terminal, you think gyps. When you say gyps, you think Osaka. And when you say Osaka, you think takoyaki, right? Oh man, now I'm starving. This is no time for japes. You have the dragon, yes? Good. Now we'll use that to strengthen the terminal. Yeah! Aren't you gonna do something with those Hotsawing powers of yours? I don't know. We're treading into the unknown, even for a Hotsawing. I'm going the method should be the same as before. The master must define what he needs to the Dragon Stream. Oh, that's right. He wished for it to become smaller before. Focus your mind and wish for the Dragon Stream to strengthen the terminal and open the path to Polaris. I'm counting on you. I'm sure you can do this. Alrighty then, shall we give it a try? Entire locale has changed, so this is what he was speaking of. Hello, Shining One. It seems the terminal has been strengthened. Ah, you! Uh, yeah, it's all done. Do we get to meet Polaris now? Not yet. I believe I said that the last Septentrion must be defeated. Yeah, how can we fight something if it hasn't even shown up yet? It will appear soon, right before your very eyes. Shining One, my name is Alcor, companion star to Mizar, and known as the Lifespan Star. 
last of the Septentrions. Uh, Alcor? You're the last Septentrion! In the past, I doubted the Septentrions and Polaris's unified consciousness. That doubt eventually split me from them. After a long, long slumber, I was led to you. Now that you have chosen a path, I will fulfill my duty as the final Septentrion. What the hell? He transformed! This is my true form. I am Polaris' sword, here to serve as the final ordeal. No more words are needed. I wish to see your wills as shown through your strength. Now, fight well. S seriously? He's the last Septentrion? No way. Damn it! We don't have any choice, do we? Do we really have to fight him? Yes, it's the only way. I, I can do this. It's not like we have any other way. I don't want to hurt you, but we have to win. The final ordeal, huh? Let's go!
I don't understand. Why are you looking so upset? The last Septentrion has been defeated. The path to Polaris will now be opened. Th that's true, but... Well, I wish we didn't have to fight you, Alcor. <laughs> it's mysterious. I feel the same way. Alcor, was it? The long animosity between you and the Hotsuin family has ended. Yes, Yamato Hotsuin. I apologize for the heavy burden I cast upon your bloodline. Unnecessary words. I am here by my own free will. It has nothing to do with you. <laughs> That's true. Humans are already out of my hands. The rest is up to you. Shining One, and your comrades go. Polaris waits ahead. <laughs> Alcor! Alcor's dead? Damn it. I don't know how to feel about this. So he was also at the mercy of Polaris, just as we humans are. How oh, ironic. Yeah, he wasn't really a bad guy after all. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We've lost so much, but we're gonna get it all back, for sure. That's right. We're almost at the end. We gotta brace ourselves and keep going. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure we have everything ready before we meet Polaris. Yo, man, we've been waiting for you. Mm-hmm. We can't start without you. Shall we go? I look forward to seeing this world you claim to be superior to my ideals. Is it time? All right, then. Let's go see what this Polaris is like. The time has finally come. This is our final battle. Let's do our best. We can do this. Just relax. We're fully prepared. You may give the order when ready. We can do this. Yo, hurry it up! I don't care what we're fighting, I just don't want to see the world erased. We'll be alright. As long as you guys are around, not even Polaris can scare me. <laughs> well, here we are. All that's left is to meet Polaris, or... Polaris, you know who I mean. Thanks. We owe it all to you that we even made it this far. Now let's finish this. <laughs> we are just one step away from the world you wanted. I'm with you till the end. I... I can do anything as long as I'm with you. So, after the world's restored, let's meet again. Promise me. All right, man. We've been through a lot, but it's finally time to end this. Yeah!
What the? Where are we? It seems we're here. Now, where is Polaris? Huh? Everybody, look at that! Humans, you have overcome my ordeals, and now stand before me. Hmm. Are you Polaris? I am Polaris, the administrator of worlds who sits atop the heavenly throne. We defeated all the Septentrions. That's why we need you to... That's right. We've united our will and overcome the trials. The conditions are met. Do not be so hasty, humans. All your work has only been a test to meet with me. First, I must ask, what kind of world do you desire? That's right. You might not understand, but... We lived our lives to the fullest in that world. For the past eight days, we've seen and done so much. We've learned tons of stuff. We'll make use of that and do our best to help the world progress in the right way. You desire the world to be restored. If your world is overwritten, there is no knowing what shall become of you. That's right. We aren't living like we were before. Back when we knew nothing. We'll do our best not to lose ourselves to the way we used to be. I understand your desire, but mankind has been corrupted and has already lost its worth. And yet, you believe you will be able to lead them in the correct direction? Mankind has lost its worth? <laughs> I must agree. However, his powers have brought us this far. Can you say it's truly impossible for us to find the right path? I see. Then I will say no more. Now then, I shall test whether you are truly ready. Whether you are able to lead the masses without being swayed by them. Okay, bring on all the tests you want. I don't like where this is going. Are we gonna have to fight Polaris now? Ah, oh, damn it. This is the last one, right? Fine, okay everyone. Let's do this.
going on? No. This is still not enough to bear the world. Let us move on. She wasn't going all out? Now, look upon your past selves. Ask if you will make the same mistakes. It's impossible. There's no way. We'll never be able to hang on to our memories while the rest of the world turns back. Can that even be done? It's probably impossible. If our data collides, we'll cease to exist. I'm scared. I don't want that to happen. What are you doing? Do you really think this will work? Once the world goes back, our memories will be gone. Memories of our new friends, too. What foolishness. You want the world to return to the way it was? What a joke. What good will it do anyway? Mankind will just go down the exact same path again. <laughs> How amusing. Return the world to the way it was before. <laughs> Miracles are unscientific. Either you'll lose your memory, or you'll be erased. That's it. You shouldn't do this. You're gonna be erased. The families you leave behind will curse you forever. Are you really okay with that? It'll be impossible. It doesn't matter how hard you try. It won't work. You'll lose your memories. Lose your existence. The world will surely repeat its mistakes. You moron. It's obviously impossible. Are you just gonna let the world and your friends die? You want that? Are you sure about this? You want to return to a world of imbeciles, run by imbeciles for imbeciles? Or do you think you can stop that decay by yourselves? Don't make me laugh. Even if the world returns, even if your memories remain, can you change the world? Think about it. You can't change mankind that easily. It's better to just give up. What useless struggling. Us save the world? We're just normal people. Come on, we can't tell the whole world that it's wrong. Are you stupid or something? It's impossible to change the world back. This whole stupid quest has always been useless. It's not going to change now. What's with that? Are those... us?
Very well. Let me present the final ordeal. Now, humans, show me your resolve. Prove to me the strength of your determination. All right, this is it for real. Brace yourselves.
I see. Impressive. So, this is the potential Alcor believed in so strongly. What? I see. I did not think that humans divorced from Providence had so much passion. You have shown your potential. It would appear that the order of the world is changing. Really? Then you'll grant our wish? Yes. I acknowledge your desire. I shall return the world to its previous state. Yes! We did it! We totally did it! Now all of our dreams will finally come true. Of course. To the victor, the spoils. Do not forget, humans. All that has happened is that I have seen the potential within me. To return the world to its previous state requires the future to change as well. If your memories since my intervention are removed, the same events may recur. Do you still wish to return to the past state? Very well. Let us begin. Hey, uh... Just one thing I have to tell you. Look. We could never have done this without you. Thank you, my best friend. I have something I want to tell him too. Thanks. It's really because of you that we made it this far. None of us knows what will happen now, but I'll never forget you, okay? that I out of the way stupid Hina it's my turn um I want to say something too oh it's hard to say when you're so calm about it well I'll say it anyway um I'm really glad I met you and even if this world gets overwritten, I won't forget you. Not ever! That's all. You're my best friend. I'm glad I know you. Here, eat this. It's good. Chow and Mushi again? You're a real one-trick pony, aren't you? You have some too, Keita. It's really good. <laughs> I don't want any moron. Sheesh. Come on, you said your piece, now scram. Yo, well, looks like this is it. You know, it was actually pretty fun. <laughs> I'm sure you'll still be doing stuff in the new world, so call me up, okay? Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> hmm, I thought so. It's pretty amazing. You're about to defy this world's rules. Honestly, I don't really care about chips, or what becomes of the world. It's just the world, you know? I'll learn everything I can about it, and then die. But you, I'm very interested in you. To the point that I'd give my life just to see what happens. Oh, that's all I'll say for now. I hope we meet again. <laughs> you really did your very best. Everybody appreciates it, and so do I, of course. So, I have a little reward for you. There, there. You really did a great job. Good boy. 
My, my. How precocious. Let's save that for next time. Ah, oh, hey there, kid. Fancy seeing you here, right? <laughs> Looks like it's finally over. Man, that was a wild eight days, huh? Still, I feel different. I've learned so much. I think I'll take things more seriously from now on. I owe that to you. Thanks, man. So, this is what you wanted to show me? I see. I understand it now. <laughs> Look at them. Look at the smiles on their faces. The restored world will be so much brighter than it was the first time. I'll continue to walk the same path as you. One day, we... <laughs> Oh, never mind. We can talk about our dreams in the new world. Um, permission to speak? <laughs> Amazing. Would that all leaders were like you. I'm glad I followed you. I'd like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude. Thank you. I am so proud to have fought at your side. Are you satisfied? Oh, is that so? I'm not. To think that my ambitions resulted in this. Still, I won't give up. For your sake, I will watch over this world's restoration. Depending on what the future holds, I may again work for my merit system as your rival. <laughs> I'm not so sure you should be the one to say that. Sounds more like my line. This is kind of odd. Uh, <laughs> you still say the strangest things. It's only been eight days since we met in Shibuya, after all. It doesn't feel real. Um, thank you. We owe all of this to you. Yeah, it's the strangest thing. A few days ago, I barely knew your face. When we met that day, at the subway platform. More than anything, I wanted time to talk with you. So even if the world's restored, I won't forget you. That's why it was so tough. I mean, poor me, right, dude? Hey, ground control to Major Tom. Oh, so you admit it. I've just been talking to myself this whole time. Well, whatever. Anyways, there's all this university stuff I have to do. It is my future, though. Guess I should quit complaining and try a little harder, huh? Come on, don't make fun of me. I'm a promising young man, you know? I can be all kinds of mature. That reminds me, did that RPG come out this week? Oh. That's totally her. Io from Class C, right? Ionita. She's smart, cute, modest, innocent. Damn, they just don't make them like her anymore. She's something special. No wonder everyone idolizes her. Whoa there, Casanova. I guess it is a good chance, huh? Do you think it's worth it? Um, excuse me. Jeez, can't you see we're in the middle of fantasizing? Ah, uh, hey, hi. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? E Ew! <laughs> well, what a crazy random coincidence! Oh, yes! That's amazing! How did you know? It's embarrassing. But I was a little late. Is everyone still at the exams? Uh, definitely. You're in the clear. There are afternoon tests, too. If you're applying to public universities, that's the place to be. Good to know. Thank you. Oh, um, well, um, I've seen you at school a few times. So, s 
since we ran into each other, if you don't mind... Then, um, you're up for it? Wow! R really I can really, um, hang out with you? Um, hello? Daichi, still standing right here. Don't want to intrude or anything. Oh, that's cold. Ice cold. My best friend's stabbing me in the back. How could you? <laughs> You're funny. That was a little mean, though. It was uncalled for. The most unkindest cut of all. Um, why don't we all go somewhere? Is that okay? That's wonderful. Oh, all right, fine. Let's go have some fun. Onward! Thank you. 